hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by again if you are new to this channel you're definitely welcome do it to subscribe and smash the notification bell today i'll show you how to make a short pant with an elastic band so first of all i'll be drafting on pattern then i'll transfer to the fabric all right so the first thing i did was to create a start line and on this start line i'll measure two inches down to create the band for the shorts so go ahead and measure two inches uh for the band and on that two inches that will be the casing for the um elastic also okay uh so go ahead and measure that two inches down from the start line okay so i'll connect the dot to create the elastic casing so that is what I'm just writing here i write casing to indicate where the elastic would um, be all right so from this line that is where we would start all our other vertical measurement okay so i'll place my tape rule on this line and measure out all the vertical measurements all right so the first vertical measurement i'll measure is the hip and it is nine inches in this case and the next measurement would be the crouch measurement so go ahead and measure your crouch measurement and indicate that on the pattern paper all right so that's what i did here i measured out the crotch measurement and in this case it was 11 and another way for you to get your crotch measurement is to divide quarter of your hip uh divide by four again and you get the distance between the hip and the crotch okay all right so the next measurement to uh, measure is the length of the pant you're working with and in this case i'm going to be using 16 for the length of the crouch so i just measured that on the pattern paper all right right on this line is the waist line and here is the hip line and under that is the crotch uh line and that is the length of the pant so next i would impute all the horizontal measurement and i start from the waist line all right on this waist line i'm going to impute quarter of the hip measurement i'm imputing quarter of the hip measurement because uh there's going to be an elastic on this waist okay so we need to use the hip measurement or even more okay and on the hip measurement on the hip line i'm going to impute the quarter of the hip measurement okay and the same thing i'll do to the crotch length okay and then i'll connect it together on a straight line and the next thing we'll do is to come to the crotch line here we need to extend it and to do that we need our hip measurement the quarter of our hip uh, circumference okay so we are going to divide the quarter of our hip circumference by four and whatever we get would be our crotch um, extension okay so we have 10 here uh, divided by four it will give us two and a half meaning that our crotch extension is going to be two and a half so i'll go ahead and extend the crotch uh, line by two and a half inches just like that then from there i'll connect it to the hip line with a curve you can use your free hand to do that so to create that crotch we are going to connect it like so it's very easy guys and the next thing to do is just to um impute the tie measurement so whatever your tie circumference is just divide it by two and you're going to impute it on the um on the pant length and that's exactly what i did here i divided my tie circumference by two and i impute it on the m of the uh short okay so i'll just connect it on the straight line down there all right so what i'm about to do next is optional i'm going to slant this line a little bit just to give it some shape it is not compulsory it is just optional okay so i just slanted it a little bit from the crotch length to the m of the shot and next i added one and a half inches for aiming allowance and with that um, i will just cut out the front pattern 
and we are going to be using this front pattern to actually uh, cut the back piece also. Alright, so this is the front piece and that is the casing. I folded it in just to show you how it will look like on the fabric, okay? That's how it will be folded in later on. And before placing it on the back piece, I'll just re-indicate what uh, each line is meant for. And here is the front piece on the back piece. I'll just use uh, this pin to hold it down so that it doesn't move all around while we are drafting on it okay so just find a dead weight or something to just hold both piece both uh, patterns together and next to create the back piece we need to come to the crotch line and measure what we have on the crotch extension and whatever you have there you are going to add it uh, to the back piece like so just watch what I'm doing right here So I'm just going to mark whatever I have there and I have two and a half. Okay I'll just mark it all the way around Like you see me do right here. So I just measure that 2.5 all the way around just watch what I'm doing here Okay, I'm just connecting the waist uh, line. I'm redrafting the waist line on the back piece just to connect it to that extension, that two and a half extension we just marked. And I'll complete it like this on the uh, crotch length. Just watch how I mark that line. Okay, so I'll just uh, use my curve ruler to complete the curve right here. So I'll mark that two and a half inches all the way down to the tie line and to the hem of the uh, pant. Then I'll join it together on a, on a straight line like this. And with that, you are done with your uh, back piece. All right. And I'll go ahead and cut out the pattern. So here are both pieces, the front and the back, and I'll just go ahead and remove the pins. So that is the back, and we are going to be cutting two pieces of the back, then two pieces of the front. Alright, so I'll be using this fabric for the uh, shot, and I'll be placing the front uh, piece first on these uh, fabrics. I'll use a uh, pin to hold it for stability, then I'll be cutting out the front piece. Okay, the next I'll cut out the back piece. And here it is after cutting it. So here is the front piece. I cut two pieces for the front and here is the back piece also. I cut two pieces for the back also. Alright, so the next thing to do is just to sew together the crotch for the front and that of the back. And I'll go to my sewing machine and just do that and show you what it looks like. Alright, so I've gone ahead and sewing the crouch of the front and that of the back. And the next thing to do is just to open up this uh, piece, both the front and the back, right side facing each other. And we're going to be joining the sides and the uh, crotch area together, okay? Alright, so I've sewn in the sides of the pant and the next thing to do is to align the crouch area of both pieces together and sew it together. And after that, the next thing to do is to fold the M of the pant, okay? Fold the M of the pant and this is it. This is what it looks like after I've done that. So the next thing to do is just to uh, fold the waist remember the casing we left at the um the top there so just fold it in you know first of all fold by half then you know the way we fold the band okay just fold like this and you're gonna fold again all right and we are going to be leaving a tiny space for our um elastic to pass in so just fold your band and sew it all the way down 
all right so here is our waistband and i left an opening for our elastic to pass through and what i will do here is just to subtract uh, about four inches or five inches from the waist circumference and i'll measure that out whatever i get i'll measure it out on the elastic and i'll cut it out then try to you know pass it through the opening and after passing the elastic through what you need to do is just to secure the end of the elastic you can either sew it or just tie it together and then i'll just try to adjust uh, the elastic in a way that the pleats you know circulate around the pants and finally you would need to close this opening and that is it your pant is ready 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 guys it's super super easy i hope you try it too all right guys i just want to call your attention to something before i end this video remember that i didn't had any allowance to this uh pattern when i was cutting it and even on fabrics i didn't had any allowance so when you are cutting yours make sure to add allowance to this side of the pattern before you even cut the back at all and as for the back piece you should extend the waist area by one inch like this and you're just going to connect it slantly in a parallel uh, manner like this just to this is just to make the short relax well on uh, on the back area okay especially if you are on the um chubby side okay and this is what it should look like after extending the waist of the of the back piece <laughs> 